coming home, coming home, tell the world it's coming home. England. Italia, Southgate. Mancini. Wembley. This is England, Italy, for all the marbles. The year, 1968. The Italians lifted the European Championship trophy on home soil, dispatching the Yugoslavians. That year, England finished third in the tournament. Still to this day remains their best finish. Now it can be argued that English European football glory is directly tied to the Azuri. Since 1968, there has been much hope, many dashed dreams, and tears aplenty. But this has changed. We are now on the cusp of a story that could last another 53 years. They are guaranteed their best finish now. But what is at stake is much, much bigger. Eleven Englishmen with one goal in mind, an achievement for the ages. Led by Captain Harry Kane in an attack that includes Sterling and Saka, is this the year? Eleven Italians that have a country's expectations of their journey in joining football royalty. There is no Pirlo, there is no Buffon, but for a team that lacks the names, they do not lack quality. Now, to put the head to head, starting 1933 to present day, they've had 27 matches total. England winning 8, Italy winning 11, 8 draws. But you can see that the English have scored more and conceded less than the Italians have. Now on to the nitty gritty year, the odds. England is favoured at a plus 162, the Italians at a plus 210. A draw is a plus 90. Now to win in both teams to score, for England that is a plus 550, for Italy that is a plus 700. To win without both teams scoring, plus 275 for England, plus 375 for Italy. Over two and a half goals is a plus 162, under two and a half goals is a minus 200. My best bet, where I'm leaning, that is draw in both teams to score at a plus 550. Now here, we got a whole lot of names. This is for any time goal scorers. For me, on the English side, I like Kane at the plus 160, Sterling at the plus 275, and my outside shot here is gonna be Sancho at a plus 375. On the Italian side, I do like Immobile, he do at a plus 220. I do like Bellotti at a plus 260, and Senior at plus 350, and my outside shot here is Chiesa at a plus 400. Now, for the meat and potatoes. Who am I picking in this match? I feel that with the time that's, that's gone on, that this is just a story that is going to have England on top. Through all the adversity, and I mean, you have to remember that these English squads in the past generations have had absolutely phenomenal talent, but just haven't been able to get over the hill. I think that the talent that's on this team, it's undeniable. I, I think the story finishes of Euro 2020, of England hoisting that trophy on home soil. The alarm is raising, the fire is burning. I think it's just time for England to take this home. It's, it's been a long time. And just like back in 68, the Italians raised the trophy on home soil. And I think this is the time for them. 53 years is a long time to be waiting just to get back into the final four. Well, they've guaranteed the best finished ever, but I think that at the end of the day, the eyes are set on that. I think the, the fans are going to be behind them. There's just going to be too much momentum for the English side not to win this game. So I have to take England side here, of course, but this is a game that can go long. It's either going to be one in the end of the second half, golden goal. I don't know if it's going to go with kicks because if it goes to kicks, I think it's a, it's a coin toss. It's a 50-50, but I, th I think this gets wrapped up in regular time. Uh, not going to kicks. I think it might be a golden goal. Thank you for joining me. God bless.